Hi friends, so today we are going to learn how to communicate between Arduino and OSXO. So let me finish the code first and I will explain it. Actually before writing the main code, we need to find at which port our Arduino is connected. For that we can uh, use the function serial at least function. And we can print it here. As you can see here, I have connected the Arduino to my lab. You can see the port here USB modem 141 Arduino Meta. So when we run this code, you can see and port number 3. This connected in the three. Same one CU dot DSP model. Okay, so so now we have initialized it. Okay, so now we have finished our code. The first line is we are importing the serial li library. Uh, I have already explained about this one. This is to find to which port our Arduino is connected. And then we initialize that port with the board drive of 9600. Arduino dot available function. We use this function to check whether there is any available information uh, coming from our serial port. And then we are storing that values to a variable called Arduino IEM. Then we are printing that values on our screen. I'll forget this one. This one we are declaring that Arduino IN variable. This one is we are making a serial object called Arduino. Now let's take Arduino ID and we can just uh, generate some random values because I don't have any sensors to connect to it now. If I am doing just uh, generate some random values in between 0 to 3 speaker and serial print it. And upload the code. Okay, now you can see here some random values from 0 to 55. Let's make it some slower. Just add some delay okay we made it slow now if you have now the processing sketch you will be able to see those numbers down here the random numbers generated by Arduino is now reading by processor. Okay, now let's use these numbers uh, to draw something. Okay, let us uh, set the screen size 700 by 700 pixels. Okay, let's draw an ellipse. It has four parameters. 
the first two that I mean these are the position the strain where tail loop should be drawn and the second two parameters are the size of tail loops. So now we are drawing an ellipse of the size 20 by 20 in the middle of our screen. Okay, we got an ellipse. Let's make uh, the background color to black. I love black background. Okay, so we got our white ellipse in the black background. Okay, now make our these two variables from the value from Arduino. Okay, now I Oops, uh, we should. Uh, I mean, we should be changing uh, the position, not the size. Mm, it is moving only in the corner. There is some problem. Okay, let's map the incoming value from R to zero comma two fifty five to zero comma two fifty. So the value from zero to two fifty five will be mapped to in between zero to bit. That means zero to seven hundred. But still it's running in the corner. Still there is some problem. Okay, actually the value is only some the random values are not going above 55 I think. Light is not going above 55. Okay, let's draw the background uh, in ball setup instead of ball drawing. So you will get many balls instead of one ball. But just a problem with our values. Mm -hmm. Look, every value is below 55 or something. Okay, instead of print LM, we should be writing serial dot right. I think this will work. Upload the sketch. Okay, now we are getting all the random values. But let's make our ellipse randomly placed in our screen. I to do we need both. Let's make our y value the random height. Okay. Okay. Now we the incoming value from Arduino. We are drawing some ellipse with random y value and and uh, x value is coming from Arduino. So this is the basic of reading serial data from Arduino to process it. We can do advanced things in the coming lessons. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you understand. Don't hesitate to ask any questions. And please don't forget to subscribe.